Hello guys, good evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Sam here from Listed by Sam. I'm in a friend's estate. I'm excited. It's 6 30 p.m. Nigerian time, and it's the best place you can ever be, Nigeria. Nigeria. So I'm excited about what's gonna happen next year. I mean the boom in the real estate space in Nigeria. And I wanna be that person that owns what everybody depends on. And I want you also to be to be that person because see, whoever owns the land owns everything. The land is what seats everything. The houses, the factories, you know, the offices, the fuel station, the hospital and all of those things. And no matter how rich you are or rich you think you are, if you don't own a, if you don't own a land, you, you probably don't own anything. Now, this takes me to a point. I was at an event um, last week and the forefather of religion and spirituality in Nigeria, Pastor Matthew Ashimolo, said something. He said that before I die, I want to have 200 houses of real estate in a secure trust fund for my children, children. They would never be able to sell anything in that real estate or anything from that portfolio. They only get the proceeds every year and use for something. And in my head, I'm like, can this man adopt me? Then I also remember that he said something that when Banana Island was selling for about 25 million naira, he, he had the opportunity to buy. And it wasn't even 500 square meter, it was in 1,000 square meter. That boy, he saw a piece of land somewhere very far. And they were big. It was, it was probably, I think, several acres. And his, his legal team was begging him, Oh God, please, let's, let's buy this. He said, no, he's going to buy. You can buy the one down there now you don't want to imagine how much banana island is selling and he was actually regretting but that's not my point today my point is a part of the scripture says a good father leaves inheritance for his children children and that is what makes them good fathers and good mother so you have lifestyle properties you have of lifestyle properties when i call lifestyle properties properties by the ocean by the lake by the lagoon where where your views you see everywhere and from there you can lead to any part of, of lagos i mean you, we all know lagos is covered by water you know so the point is even if you're not buying for yourself buy for your kids there is currently a site called coral city and all you have to do is just to buy and keep for a while and all of those things but the point is the person that owns the land owns the money and the boom in next year's real estate because of the election and many things that are happening will happen so fast that we're ultimately going to be asking why didn't i buy more so if you don't own up to a state or a city <laughs> you know um just go and buy more and you know the good part you do not have to buy with 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 an hundred percent payment you do an initial deposit and you spread payment between six months 12 months 16 months 18 or 24 months but the most important thing is you're securing your future and you're wealthy that's the most important thing and then you leave in every time so you leave you leave something of value for your children that's what makes you makes you immortal that's what makes your children say you know what i love grandpapa thank you for grandpapa and they're proud of you so my advice for you is start investing start buying you don't want to regret that you didn't buy more but the worst you get is that you don't want to regret that you didn't even buy at all or that you were so fearful about what's going to happen that you don't know what you're supposed to look out for so i love you guys that's about all for tonight i'll see you some other time cheers